In this video, we'll determine the molecular geometry for CH3+. So the first thing we need to do to find the molecular geometry, we need to have the Lewis structure. That'll tell us where the electrons are at. So here's the Lewis structure for CH3+. And we can see we have three things bonded to the central carbon. We have a hydrogen here, here, here. And these pairs of electrons between the atoms, that's what's forming the chemical bond that holds them together. So we have three things bonded to the central carbon atom. Let's see what that might look like. So here's our central carbon atom, and we're going to add those three hydrogen atoms to it. One, two, and you can see they spread out to be as far away from each other as possible while still bonded to the central carbon. And then the third one, and you can see that what we have, this trigonal planar molecular geometry. So it's kind of all in one plane. We have these three atoms of hydrogen on the central carbon there. If we looked at the bond angles, we'd see that the bond angles are 120. So each one of these bond angles here is 120 degrees. If we wanted to know the electron geometry, since there aren't any lone pairs of electrons, the molecular geometry and the electron geometry, they're the same, that trigonal planar. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So back at our Lewis structure, we said there are three different atoms bonded to the central carbon. Let's look at this table here to check that molecular geometry. So according to our table, we said there are three different things. We call that the steric number bonded to that central carbon. So here we have our central carbon, one, two, three different things. Because of that, and there aren't any lone pairs, because of that, the molecular geometry, that's the trigonal planar molecular geometry. If you're using the AXN notation, we would have our central atom, that's A, and then each of these we would consider X. And the N, that's the non-bonding pairs of electrons, the lone pairs. There are no lone pairs for this structure. So we would just have A, X, one, two, three. Sometimes people write A, X, N, zero. A, X, three is fine as well. So if you look this up on a table for this A, X, N notation, again, you'd find trigonal planar. And because we don't have any lone pairs, this would also be the electron geometry. So for our CH3 positive ion, we have a molecular geometry of trigonal planar, and we have bond angles of 120 degrees. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.